Hi, this is Islet Explorer with Enka. On this channel, you get all the latest updates about scholarship offers in the world. In addition, you also get to know all the Islet tips that will help you to get your minimum band score of 7. So make sure you subscribe to this channel to get all the latest updates. In this video, we are going to learn about or go through the famous dad airport scholarship for developing countries this is the development related postgraduate courses for high achieving students in these countries so we are going to look at the overview the application requirements and the step-by-step -step application procedure to assess these scholarships so i want you to stay with us as we go through this information now the DAD promotes the training of specialists from development and newly industrialized countries. And their main aim is to offer post uh, foreign graduates from these countries, from all disciplines, to take a postgraduate or master's degree at a state or state recognized German university. In other cases or in exceptional cases, some of them might take PhD courses in germany so you want to know who can apply for this scholarship now these are graduates with at least two years professional experience from this developing country so let's look at these eligible countries we have albania belarus when we come to africa we have the north africa we have algeria egypt the sub-saharan africa we have ghana over here there are a lot of countries over here in america we have costa rica cuba so i'll, I'll leave the link to this document so that you can uh, go through the countries that are eligible to find out whether you are eligible to apply now let's continue so what can be funded by this scholarship now individual scholarship exclusively for postgraduate courses in germany so like i talked about this particular scholarship is applicable to some selected courses and uh, that is the so that that is the name over here so development related postgraduate courses so what are these courses and their deadlines let's look at let's look at these courses so uh, these are the list of courses now one for economic sciences business administration political economics we have ma in master's program in international and development economics so we have mba courses we have msc mba we, there is a phd over here we have masters in engineering in energy and environmental management so these are the various courses that are captured in this epos scholarship and these are their deadlines for the for the first one for instance 31st August 2022. So in order to apply for this scholarship, you have to go through these courses to know the one that you would like to apply for and you should make sure that you stick to their application deadline before you make any application. So again, I will also leave the link to these courses so that you can go through yourself and make an application if you are interested. Now, so what is the duration of this funding this funding is valid from 12 months to 42 months uh, you'll get to know that so or uh, when you if when you followed with me in the document you got to know that you have masters and phd courses so uh, some of the masters courses they are the duration is 12 months or one year some of them 36 months so this funding is out with uh, in fact this is a fully funded scholarship so that is that then what are the benefits that you can get from this scholarship for the master's courses you can get you will get a monthly stipend of 861 euros for phd candidates you get 1200 euros i'm sure some of you might have heard of blocked german block accounts and in the german block accounts uh, before you can, as a foreign student, before you can study over there, you have to open that account. Uh, currently, the amount that you have to deposit is 
the 10,832 euros and the monthly withdrawal is around 861 so with this stipend or offer for postgraduate students and uh, the master student in 861 that is equivalent to the monthly withdrawal of the german block account if you were to deposit 10,382 that is the minimum now let's continue so you will also be giving out accident and personality liability insurance cover now for those uh, applicants who are not sponsored by their home country or they don't have another source of funding you'll be giving travel allowance in other special circumstances too you also be giving monthly rent subsidy and a monthly allowance for accompanying members of your family let's look at the selection criteria so before you can be uh, accepted for this scholarship you should have a bachelor's degree which is four year that is a four year course in an appropriate subject and you should have at least two years professional experience i've already talked about this and you should prove your motivation we'll talk about it shortly you have to uh, write a motivation letter that is uh, proving to them or telling them what is actually motivating you to apply for this scholarship in a gf you will get to know that uh, the bachelor's degree that you can use to apply for this scholarship should not be older than six years so if it is older than six years you don't qualify to assess this scholarship now let's look at let's look at the application requirements so what for a typical scholarship holder you should work for a public authority or state or private company in a developing country and again the bachelor's degree is over here so this is what i was talking about your academic degree should normally not be more than six years old so that is that and for those applicants who are resident in germany longer than 15 months you are also eligible to apply let's look at the language skills so the language requirement for if the course you are applying for is studied in german language you have to pass the dsh2 or test that for before the start of the course for the english courses you should have an ILET test results overall band score of not less than six then for TOEFL, the minimum score we have 550 for paper based 213 for computer based then 80 for internet based lastly we want to look at the step-by-step -step application procedure for this particular scholarship so let's look at the application procedure now this is one of the mistakes that some applicants make you are not supposed to apply to that you are supposed to apply to the directly to the course uh, again you look at very soon we will go back to the document i showed you about the individual courses so for those those courses that you are interested in when you click on it it will send you directly to the particular university that offer those courses and these universities have their self-designed application form for the this airport that scholarship so that's where you are supposed to apply to you are not supposed to apply to that and the good news is that you can apply for maximum three courses and when you are applying for these three courses you are just to write one motivation letter you are not supposed to write three you are supposed to just write one for this scholarship and you should take note that this if you select more than one course you should arrange the courses in order of priority so these are the required application documents you should have a signed dad application form now this is how the dad application form looks like so this is the dad application form so we have the german uh, it is it is designed in german both in german english and sorry german and english language so with the one that we are talking about this airport this airport belongs to a study scholarship scholarship for a postgraduate course 
with relevance to developing countries. So you will take here then the following information and they are just basic information that so we have your first name, your gender. So these are just basic basic information that you can follow then uh, fill those forms. Let's continue. So that is about the sign that application form with current date. Then you should also have personally signed CV. And this CV, we are, you are indicated that you are supposed to use the sample Europass form. This is the link to the Europass website. So when you click on it, this is, uh, sorry, this is how it looks like. So you create a CV here, you click here, then another page will come, then you just fill in the details and you can create your CV. So that is about the CV. Then you should have a letter of motivation. I've already talked about that. So it is important when applying for more than one postgraduate course, this one too, I've already talked about that. Then you should have letter of recommendation from your current employer. It should have a letterhead, a signature, official stamp, and it should also bear a current date. You should also have a certificate of employment from your employers. And it should prove that you have available of two years relevant professional working experience. And optional, optionally, you can you are your your employer should also guarantee a re-employment upon return, returning home. Now the proof of languages, I have already talked about that. I let for English courses and to for, for German languages, you are supposed to write uh, you are supposed to pass the requirement i talked to you about then you should have your academic degrees certified one of course then your transcript too with their grading skill for those from republic of china you have to submit an APS certificate with the application document so guys this is a step-by-step -step application of how to apply for the dance scholarship the deadline is specific for the individual individual courses and the universities so when you follow those links you get to know the individual deadline for the scholarship sorry the universities and the courses so like i said you the application location you apply to the chosen study program now this is how the selection is done when you apply you send your complete application directly to the postgraduate course on the university then a committee will suggest potential candidates for a DAS scholarship. So for those who apply, there is a committee that will be set up to consider all the applications and suggest people or candidates who, are, who, who, are, who qualify for this scholarship. Then this candidate will be contacted by DAD to upload their complete application to the DAD portal. When the selection process is over or successful, the suggested candidate will then be informed accordingly. So if you get a notification, if you are successful, you get a notification from that about your success. Let's go back to the individual courses. Now, so this, uh, this uh, postgraduate courses. So now let's, for instance, let's click this course. Let's say, Master of Science in International Health and see what will happen over here. So when I clicked on that, you see it has sent me directly to directly to the university. The university is over here. So this is postgraduate study program international health. That is MSC Master of Science in International. So when you click, when you click on any of the course, it will send you to the website. So there's application and admission over here, and it's, it will talk about the application that a post scholarship, and it will tell you where you are supposed to click to submit the application. So this is applicable to all the courses that are captured in this a post that scholarship. So guys, this is a very prestigious and a famous scholarship in the world, and I don't want you to for those of you who are interested. I will encourage you to apply. Now, aside this scholarship, there are other 
good and famous ones to in other countries like Australia, US, and others that have already done a video about. So uh, at the end of this video, you get to know there is a playlist at the end of the video that captures all those scholarship. I also encourage you to look at look at those videos so that you don't miss those opportunities. Going forward, you also get to know latest updates about any scholarship offer that you need to know. So for those who have not subscribed, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any updates. Bye.